Uh, one of the concerns that you have had has been about uh, moving money around, really. A 15% of the common agricultural policy will be able to be shifted between what they call the pillars, the different types of, of funds. Just explain what concerns you have about that, uh, if that's is, is, is taken up really by countries differently uh, across Europe? Well, I think the great concern that we have in Scotland and the UK is that uh, for the last number of years in the last CAP, uh, both the Scottish Government and the UK Government have taken money from direct payments and put it into rural development uh, schemes. Uh, this means that the direct payments then going to Scottish and UK farmers has been top sliced by 15%. What's now been agreed, of course, is the possibility that other member states may decide to take money from rural development and put it into the direct payments. This could create distortions in the marketplace, i.e. French farmers getting uh, larger payments than, than, uh, than uh, Scottish farmers, leaving us at a competitive disadvantage. We tried to block that and get that changed in the last negotiations, but unfortunately, Council were unable, unwilling to, to, to move. How many countries are going to use that flexibility, we don't know. Certainly the, the likes of Poland and some of the Eastern European countries that have got very low payments, they're going to certainly use that flexibility to top up the direct payments. Uh, whether any of the big member states uh, that have got high payments will do that or not, we don't know. There's some talk that France might do it, but we're not sure.